A lot of kids out there love animals. The Nebraska Humane Society offers a summer camp that allows children to meet some pets in need to learn and give back. Lindsay Thies is live today at the Humane Society to explain. And Lindsay, you have some friends with you, I understand. I do. I have some friends. I have human friends. I have a furry <laughs> friend with me, too. Uh, I'm joined with Jade, Emily, and Jada. And Jada, tell me who are we joined with? Who's this adorable pup? This is Brooklyn. And uh, what kind of dog is she? How old about is she, do you think? She is a German short-haired pointer, and she is one year and six months. I love it. And they say kids and animals are the hardest to direct. And <laughs> she's a little camera shy, but she is a sweetheart. Well, and I understand, too, we're, we're going to tell the guys, um, the viewers at home in a second, about this very special camp, Camp Kindness. I understand all three of you were former campers and are yes. now camps, counselors. Mm -hmm. Why did you want to come back and be a counselor? Um, well... I love being a camper. It was really fun. Um, we did a lot of fun things, and um, I remember the counselors that we had, and I always wanted to do something like that. Yeah. And um, one of the counselors who's here now, um, she got me into this. She told me there was a camp and they needed more counselors, and she asked Jade and I if we wanted to do it, and we said, yeah, and it's been so much fun. I love it. Well, it was a lot of fun <laughs> seeing these gals at work this morning, especially because they added something new to the camp. Take a look. This is Mr. Clark, and this is his owner, Miss Megan, and she is going to teach you about Clark's breed. For about 20 years, the Nebraska Humane Society offers summer camp. It's called Camp Kindness. Each summer, hundreds of children participate in visits from rescues and learn about animals at the Humane Society. Oh, you're so pretty! It's so popular, many of the campers have now returned as volunteer counselors. But a year ago, they wanted to add to the program. Small dog with a black patch over one eye. Add another chapter, if you will. Buster never ran away again, so he still missed his old friend. Miss Star opened the cage. Todd took the smallest kitten. So this part was born. Each morning and afternoon during the week-long camp, the kiddos go through books and work with their shelter buddy that they picked. Karma is a uh, five years old and she's a female and she's a lab retriever. I have both of these dogs right now. Their names are Theo and Niner. Um, and I'm reading to them dogs and puppies. The reading has a couple of benefits, some for the kids. We've had kids um, that sign up for reading programs that want us to sign off on hours, you know, in minutes and things like that. And some for the dogs, who get used to people over time. She was kind of growling because she was scared. She got in really close up to me. She's letting me pet her a little bit. Most of all, and he was tired and hungry, but there right ahead was his home. It's led to a large group of little advocates for these four-legged friends. When we are open to the public, when people come by, they will say, oh, my dog would be great for your family. They love kids and they're really energetic. I just hope that they find a good home and that it's someone that really cares about them. And back out here live. Now, I understand Brooklyn's about three, four years old, and she is also looking for someone at home to care about her. Yeah. She's available for adoption here. Yep. Wonderful. And you were telling me, too, that you guys just recently adopted yeah. a dog from the Humane Society. Tell me about that. Um, so just two weeks ago, we adopted um, a Yorkie named Buffy. Um, she's seven months old, and Jade and I, we've been wanting a dog since we were, like, since six. Since first grade. Yeah. Since first we, grade. And, um... Uh, we finally got a dog. We're so excited. Yeah. We love her. <laughs> All the volunteering finally paid off. You yes. finally convinced the folks at home. Well, this camp, this is the last week for the camp, but they do offer it every single year, Jen. Something tells me it's a popular one, and it'll be back again next summer. All right, Lindsay, thanks so much. And I, I think I want to go to Humane Society. Yeah, camp. really. That looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> looks like a ton of fun. Yeah, it looks like the, the dogs get a kick out of it, too. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you were saying it.